So today I'm going to make this fish, Ethiopian style. So this is called in Ethiopia, or as I know, fish goulash. I have no idea where the word goulash ever got into the Ethiopian or Amharic language, but everywhere I go in Ethiopia, restaurants I go to around the world, this is asa, which means fish goulash. You can use any type of fish that you want. It's a bit spicy, you can see it's got quite a lot of chili on there. It's really easy to make. Let's get on with it. How to cook great food is back again. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at our fish. Now I've got a fish here called Nile perch, which is uh, an Ethiopian fish or one of the fishes that's available in e Ethiopia. Now Ethiopia is a landlocked country, so there's not a diverse amount of fish. This is one of them. Now you could be using any fish you want. You could be using salmon, cod, or whatever you like, kingfish or something like that. I've got some kind of steaks here cut. Now I've got one kg or 2.2 pound of this fish here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get some flour, season it with salt and pepper, and we're gonna flour the fish and fry that off first. So I've got about four tablespoons of flour there, which is probably too much. Generous amount of salt, generous amount of pepper. Just simply mix that together. You've got an easy seasoned flour. We're then gonna take one piece of the fish, or the asa. That's it, like that. Let me repeat the process, we're at the cooker. Okay, so I've got a frying pan here and I've got some oil in there. I'm using a sunflower oil. The word in Amharic for oil is zait. We're just going to get our fish. We're going to put it in. The heat is on. And we're going to fry this fish just for like three minutes aside. And then we're going to take it out and then we can move on to the next process. I'm going to have to do this in a couple of batches. Not enough room in there for all my fish. Okay, so that's our fish there. Now, don't worry if you don't think your fish is cooked all the way through because we're gonna be cooking this again later. We're gonna make a nice kind of stew now, the kind of goulash and get it in. So yeah, no, don't panic about it. Okay, so our fish is done and set to one side. Here I've got four tomatoes. Now try and use a nice ripe tomato because we really wanna cook them down. The word in Amharic for tomato is timatim. Here I've got one onion cut nice and small. Again, the word in Amharic is shunkud. Karia or fresh chili, you can put as much or as little in as you like. Salt or chow. Erd, two teaspoons of erd or turmeric. And here, net shinkut or garlic, I've got one tablespoon. We're going to start this off with some olive oil now. We might add a little bit of water depending on how well our tomatoes cook. So here we go. I've got a pan here, olive oil in there. The word for oil in Amalek is zait. We're going to drop in our shinkut or onion. Cut nice and small. We're gonna drop in the garlic or net shunkut. We're on an above medium heat and we're gonna go for four minutes. There you go, just four minutes. Next up, we're gonna add some salt and the turmeric or erd. Two minutes, keep it moving all the time now. Really, really easy this one. Okay, the tomatoes, four regular sized tomatoes. Like I say, try and use a nice juicy, ripe tomato. We're gonna go for about six or seven minutes now. Really wanna kinda cook the tomatoes down hopefully to nothing. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, so I didn't need to add any more water. My uh, tomatoes were juicy enough, nice and ripe. If you want, you could add a bit if it didn't come out like this. Now, I don't want it 
like in a big sort of soup. I just want it to sort of be covering the fish or the asa. So, yeah, if you want, you can kind of add a lot more liquid to it as you require. So next up, we're now going to grab our fish. We're going to drop it all in. Just going to get it all in there. There's quite a lot of fish here. And then I'm going to turn the heat down to a simmer, which I've just done right now. I'm going to get a lid on that and I'm going to let it go on a nice simmer for about another sort of seven or eight minutes. What I want to do is just kind of spoon over onto the fish. But I'll do that halfway through the process. Lid on, nice and low. See you soon. And there you go, just taking the lid off and I've spooned over the sauce halfway through the process. Only one more thing, we're going to get our fresh chili. We're going to put that in. That might look like a lot, but if Rahel was making that, there'd be like three times as much in there, I think. Beautiful. It's ready to serve. Check it for salt, by the way. Okay, and there you go. That is known as asa or fish goulash. Again, I've no idea how the word goulash got into the Amharic language. And uh, Rahel, um, Rahel, by the way, if you don't know, is my uh, wife. You should check out her Ethiopian channel, all in Amharic, but she's a fantastic cook. She's my teacher, actually, for Ethiopian food. But yeah, that's it. Absolutely beautiful Ethiopian fish. Lots of love. Thank you so much indeed for watching our videos. It means a great deal to us. Please do hit the thumbs up for us if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't, I suppose. Yeah, don't do that. Just do that. Um, yeah, and subscribe to us. That would really help us out a lot. We just hit 100 million views. We're very excited about that. We would love if you could support what we're doing. We don't do any ads or endorse any products at all, uh, even though we're offered it quite a lot. A lot of it rubbish, to be honest. But um, yeah, we, we, we don't want to be doing that. So we've got a little PayPal thing. If you want to buy us a coffee, just a couple of dollars or whatever you want, you can just follow the link, which should be about here now. And uh, yeah, pay me some money. I'm broke. Lots of love.